So, you know, I love working on my iPad. And one of the things that I miss, though, um, from Mac OS is the clipboard history that's in Alfred. Today, we're going to look at Yoink, which recently came out with an update that adds clipboard history for you. Before we do that, if you want to support the channel, then you can actually become a YouTube member below. You can do super thanks, stuff like that, or you can head over to Skillshare or take one of my courses. Uh, that's at curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, or there's links directly to the courses in the show notes. Buckle up, let's look at Yoink. So the first question is, what is Yoink? Yoink is a shelf app, I guess. It's a way to just hold text, uh, hold kind of any, almost anything. Um, real quickly, real easily. So that's what this is right here. This is, you know, just my testing here um, where I went through and let's delete that. That's actually one of the issues that will highlight is this is a password to something for me. You can see it in here twice um, because Yoink, when it's set up as a clipboard manager, will copy your passwords out of one password. And you don't actually want that, do you? So that's what it is. There's a video stack, right? This is just two items in here of uh, YouTube videos. There's a stack of, what is this, Obsidian for task management. So the text and then the um, thumbnail for it as well. So how do we start up um, Clipboard Manager or the Clipboard History? So we come in here, we hit Monitor Clipboard, and then we get to choose. You have to do this manually every time, let's say without timeout, Monitor Clipboard, and then we get Picture in Picture Window. And the thing you really want to do is just hide it. So now Obsidian is monitoring my clipboard. If I go over to uh, YouTube and just grab, sure, this is how I want to see this video anyways. We'll save to watch later. And then if, but if we go to share, copy link, it's been copied and you can see Yoink pasted from YouTube. So if I went back into Yoink now, I'll have that YouTube URL and give it a few seconds and it will show up. So now I could actually drag it into a, I could drag it into a stack. So now I have three YouTube videos in there. So it copies, you know, the YouTube URL. If I was going into uh, notes, right? I have uh, gifts for my daughter. I can go in here, highlight it, copy. So Yoink again, paste it from notes. So if I went into Yoink again, you can see Princess in Black and the Giant Problem. This is something my daughter wants as a Christmas gift. What else does it copy? So if we go into Photos, and I'm sure, let's grab this, and we can hit Copy Photo, Yoink, paste it from Photos. So I'll copy photos as well. There's the wonderful photo of me, which you may have already seen because this is for my iPad OS secret tips video. If you head over to files, it copies pretty much everything in files as well. Let's go to my inbox. It will copy all of these, right? If I grab one of these, if I grab multiple of these, right? If I hit select and then I can hit share and I can hit copy. You want to paste it from files. So it picked up both of them this time, right? In a stack for me. That's nice. It'll copy zip files, zip folders in here. If I have a zipped up uh, items, that's great. Uh, it will not copy videos, um, although you can share a video into Yoink with the share sheet. So if I went into here and hit um, or long press, I uh, hit copy if I wanted, that would do it, but I could also hit. Um, or share, share, and then Yoink is one of the options in here, Yoink. And that's how you can get a video in there from photos or from anywhere else, right? So I can even go here, copy. You see, it'll copy my zip file, I Yoink paste it from files, now I have a zip file in there. Delete. So Yoink is also perfect. Uh, I find really useful if I use it in slide over. So let's open up uh, files again, just to have something. And then if we go Yoink, let me drag it into slide over like that. So now it's just hiding in slide over. And I use this regularly when I'm setting up YouTube videos. I'm copying links, I'm copying titles, I'm copying a bunch of stuff. And if I leave Yoink set up like that, then I can um, just jump in quick and I can grab whatever item again, real easy, right? I can copy it again. So I find it really useful for that. So what are the limitations? So some of the limitations are if I was to open YouTube, and start watching this video, right? So this video has been started now. I still have Yoink 
um, down here and slide over. But what's going to happen here is I'm drag you back away. When I quit this, uh, if you have slide, if you have um, picture in picture set up, yeah, I do. So now I lost you so right it. here. So now I've lost it and it's not actually going to show up um, as an option. So I have to go back into Yoink. I have to go back to plus. I have to monitor clipboard again, and I have to say, you know, whatever, 30 minutes without timeout. Monitor clipboard, and now I have it back, again, monitoring my clipboard. So I find that happens to me fairly regularly, um, where it just drops away because I'm using YouTube lots. So yeah, uh, another issue that I found is um, if I've copied text, do I have any in here right now? Uh, no, it's all, oh yeah, so rich text. So right here, this is copied out as rich text. I copied it out of Spark. Um, and I can't convert this to something else. I can't convert this to plain text, which is really what I'd rather have it as with that. I'm going to copy it, paste it into something that only really does um, plain text, and then I have to paste it back in to Yoink. So that's it. I think it can be useful for holding your snippets. So uh, YouTube sponsorship options is one. If I have other YouTube sponsorship things, I could do that um that way and then i could even uh if i go into shortcuts i've actually got an interesting shortcut here for yoink yeah chx so clipboard history hx being history so what this does is it receives any input from share sheet um but it's going to choose from menu stacks or history this is the one thing i haven't actually had working i don't have a way to choose just a single stack so only my youtube one and then show me all the items in there um or history and it's going to get all items and it's going to show me what I've set up for as five items. Right, you know, get all items is set up as uh, five. So I could up that if I wanted to 10. You now if I run it, what this is going to do, I'm going to say history because that's the one that works. And it's going to show me like here's all the things right there. So I could say um, what I want. Text Obsidian long form plugin. Now it's copied it to my clipboard. If I go back into notes, oh, or the clipboard one's broken again. I swear this worked, but shortcuts has been nothing but buggy. So CHX, again, let's try this again. It's history, try this YouTube link. Yoink, paste it from shortcuts, not pasting. Nope, so it's not working at all. I swear that worked and it was super cool before and I'm gonna leave it in so you can just see that it, this is what shortcuts has been unfortunately on iPad OS 15, just not working. Not working at all right now. That's it, I'll try to revamp that short code. Hopefully the link in the description to that short code, short cut works. Short codes are for WordPress, shortcuts are for iPad OS. Hopefully that works and then you actually get to see it before you want is good for uh, monitoring clipboard, I use it um, only in spots. I don't use it all the time because it's going to capture your passwords. And I don't really want that. I suppose a password out of context isn't super dangerous, but still, it could be an issue. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know if something happened. If you want to support the channel, you can become a YouTube member. You can do super thanks. You can take one of my courses on Skillshare. There's links to everything below, and there's a Discord channel that's super quiet. So if you want to come, you know, be in a Discord channel, ask some questions occasionally, but it's super quiet feel free. Links below. Have a good one.